Zeal Education Society. Redefining Excellence. A very warm welcome to my enthusiastic learners. Today we will be seeing a subject that is power quality. My name is Satya Prakash. I belong to the Department of Electrical Engineering from Zeal College of Engineering and Research, Pune. So let's start with the discussion that is the introduction part. Why we are concerned about power quality and why it is important to us. Let's try to understand that first and from where the power quality has come into picture. So I have taken a very real life example which every day everyone is coming across. Somewhere down the line we go to the market to purchase some commodity. Now that commodity can be anything. It can be a house, it can be a fridge, it can be electronic commodity or it can be a non-electronic commodity. Here I have taken an example of a bike. You can see here. A person is purchasing a bike. Now the very first question which comes into mind is what is the price of the bike? Whether it will be as per my pocket or whether it will satisfy my requirement. Now this is where quality comes into picture. If I am going to pay some price for a product, I need that, that product to be of good quality. Now similarly there are n number of parameters through which we will judge the quality of the product which will be in accordance with the price paid. If I am paying a huge price, I want that the product should be of excellent quality. Now similarly in this case, if I am purchasing a bike, I will try to find out whether the average is good or not, whether it is having a good balance, whether it will be economical for me whether it is coming in different colors or variants. So these are some of the factors which we will be looking before finalizing any of the product just like the bike. Now these are some of the questions which come in our mind while we are purchasing a commodity. Very similarly there are n number of parameters which will be related to the power which you are using whether it is of good quality or not we will see later on. I have taken another example so that you can understand it in a better manner. Now it's a very very simple thing to understand. You must be very much furious on your mobile phone. Oh my god, I have paid the bill. I am regularly doing the recharge of the mobile. Still I am not getting good service. I am not able to talk to the person who I want to at that particular moment. Which means you are facing call drop problems. You are facing network issues. Have you not paid amount for this service? I think yes, you have paid the amount and you are paying, but still you are not getting good quality service. Now this is where power quality also comes into picture, which means whatever electricity you are consuming, whether it is up to the mark, are you getting a real power to, uh, up to you for your appliances? You have to take a check. Another very burning example, which is very, very hilarious. Mr. Bean, everybody knows about him. Now see, he is eating in a restaurant and he has paid some amount for his food. I don't think he is at all liking the food, which means we are paying some amount for that particular food, but it is of not good quality. So somewhere down the line, whatever price we are paying for that particular price, you need the quality of the product should be good. A very basic problem which you normally face is, oh my god, electricity is gone, I was working on the system and I didn't save my work. Oh my god, is this my electricity bill? I can't believe it, I didn't use this much of energy throughout uh, the month. Now these are some very basic problems which we normally face. And let me tell you, this is nothing but this is what we are talking about and that is power quality. So. If we move ahead, there is again a basic problem that is number of power cuts. Have you never faced a power cut in your home? I don't think the answer would be no. Yes, the answer would be definitely yes. You would have definitely faced a power cut somewhere down the time, whether it's in a week or it's in a month, but definitely power cut would happen there. So this is a graph which has shown, it's shown here, and this is for year 2019, but the motive of this particular graphic you will understand how much number of hours it has been depicted, there is no power throughout that particular time. 
So my intention is to let you know that these are some of the basic problems with power which you are getting and this is how I can say that the quality of the power which you have is not good. Now what are the consumers concern due to the poor power quality? What are the problems which they are facing? I have shown you two, three and there are many others. I have listed some of them. So just go through it. We will have many devices which is being affected just like IT devices which are very very sensitive to the voltage fluctuations. Then you have process control equipment mostly used in the industry. Then you have electronic devices used in commercial as well as uh, household activities. You will always find the light is flickering, it's blinking. Now that is again a power quality issue. You have number of circuit breakers, relays associated with transmission and distribution in the power system. Now these will trip without any reason. Now why is it tripping? Nobody knows. It is just because of power quality problem. Why? If a system trips without any fault, which means there is some serious issue in your power quality. Then you will face problems in telecommunication as well as the functioning of the motors. So these are few which I have listed. There are n number of others problem, other problems also associated with power quality. Now, do we need a change? Yes, the awareness for power quality needs to be there. Why? In a developing world where we have 1.2 billion people, you would imagine at least 30% of them in India who are deprived of electricity. Out of which 247 million of people, they face electricity shortage. They face electricity shortage for four hours in a day. Now you can imagine that this data which is given here uh, is uh, highly uh, motivating for us to, so that we should be aware of power quality. Why? Because we are having some these problems. In 2012, there was a serious blackout issue in India which affected nearly 680 million people. Now why this happened? Did you have a question? It is all related to the power quality problems. So that's why the possibility of change is there and we need that power quality awareness should be there. Is it really getting into the head of the people or it is getting really into the society? Let's see. Possibly yes. There was a recently a very light-hearted movie which was based on the electricity issue. So this is how the possibility of change is yes coming into the picture. Can we do it? Yes, we can do it. If we can buy a fitness band for us to check whether we, we are fit or not, why can't we purchase a power quality measuring instruments to check whether the power quality is good or not? The price range will vary, but as per the requirement, it will be highly beneficial and economical in long term. So that's why power quality awareness is important and we should definitely go for this particular change. Now, what are the things which is going on for bringing this change? There are a few things which is happening. For example, a power quality forum is being developed. Lot many people are doing research work and development work in this field. Power quality as a subject have been introduced to the students in Bachelor of Engineering. So this is how we are definitely working into this particular field and we are trying to make people aware of power quality issues. Now, what are the challenges which we are facing in implementation of this power quality issues? The major challenge is the unskilled and the inexperienced resources which we have. Secondly, there are inadequate standards and regulation for power quality. So these are some major issues. Apart from this, there are made other issues also. And you can see here, there is not a major issue for finance. The finance is available, but we don't have resources. There is a lack of top management responsibility. There is very limited monitoring and maintenance. So these are the problems which we have because of which power quality is being not successfully being implemented everywhere and is not taken care of. Next, we will see how to do it. This is a very beautiful picture which is depicted here. How you can measure a power quality through a power quality analyzer and you can easily check whether the power quality is good or best or bad, whatever it is in your, into your area. So these power quality analyzers are available in various brands and in various uh, variants. 
I have shown some of it. Some of the pictures are shown here. These are some of the brands or some of the variations of power parity analyzer which is available to us. So why not we to use these uh, power quality analyzers and let's make our power of good quality so that our equipments work properly so that whatever amount we are paying for that power it is justified. Hence power quality is of utmost importance and we should be definitely making everyone aware of this particular issue. So thank you very much. I hope you have understood from where the power quality has come and uh, why it is important to us. So in the next session, we will meet with the next particular topic. Thank you. Zeal Education Society. Redefining Excellence.